Hello, welcome to Cloud Learning Channel. In this module, we will learn about the Compute Engine in Google Cloud. And also, we will learn how to create a virtual machine instances uh, using Google Cloud Console here, how to deploy uh, virtual missions uh, in Google Cloud. So, uh, I'm in the Google Cloud Console. So if you want to create a virtual mission uh, in Google Cloud, so just go to search and just look for a compute engine. Just say compute engine. So now we see a, a search results compute engine. So just click on compute engine. So before I create this uh, compute engine, let me just give you guys like, you know, what is this compute engine? A compute engine is a computing and hosting service that lets us create and run a virtual missions on Google Cloud infrastructure. So this cloud compute engine offers a scale, performance and value, and that lets us easily launch a large compute clusters on Google's infrastructure. So there is no uh, upfront investments and also we can uh, run thousands of virtual CPUs on a system that offers quick and consistent performance. So I'm in the uh, co compute engine uh, phase. So now here, how we deploy a virtual machine. So uh, um, we all know that what is virtual machine, but uh, let me give you like, you know, uh, this compute engine phase, like, you know, where we can uh, deploy our virtual machine. And uh, this um, page provides an overview of compute engine instance and also uh, a virtual machine hosted on Google's infrastructure. Okay, so let me go to a uh, create instance. So we can choose like, you know, on your left, uh, we can see like, you know, uh, virtual VM instances, instance templates and machine images, TPUs, and also we can see a storage disk snapshot. So if I want to create the virtual instance, so I see two uh, create instance uh, options here. One is create instance, create instance. So now we can click either one. So I will just click on uh, create instance and I'll just keep it. Uh, I will open in a new tab. So now uh, we see all the options here. So here we see that create an instance. So to create a VM instance, we need to select one of these options. Do you need a new VM instance or a new VM instance from template or from machine image or marketplace? So I want to create a single uh, virtual machine instance from scratch. So now I need to give a name to my uh, virtual machine, I will say. Uh, instance vm01 that's my instance and if we want to give a name so we can just uh, click uh, add label and if you want to add a label so you can just uh, enter a value and a, uh, a name and the value and uh, so the labels uh, created here will be assigned at the time of instance creation and also labels for an existing instance may be edited on the instance details page. So we can also do that later. And let's go to the next uh, step. Next option is region. So uh, where, where do we deploy this uh, VM instance? So we have uh, many locations available. So I will select US, US East 1, South Carolina, and also zone. We have three zones available. Uh, US East 1B CD, so I will select uh, US East 1B. And now we have a lot of um, um, families, a uh, lot of options available here in uh, mission configuration. So now we need to select. So do we need a general purpose or do we need a compute optimized or do we need a memory optimized and we need a GPU? Because um, the price changes based on we select this uh, mission configuration. So if you select general purpose on, on our right, we see that the monthly estimate $25. But if we select compute optimized, then the price would be different. And also we can see here, there are like you no know, lot of uh, options available, the series C2, C2D. And if you see that compute optimized is $122.94. Uh, uh, it's like, you know, estimate. 
and if we select memory optimized and m2 series is not available but let's see but we have m1 and m3 and we can see that it's a 33863 and let's look at the gpu and the gpu cost is still calculating and we can look at it like you know there are many types available but uh, let me just uh, select general purpose this is just a uh, uh, demo uh, how we can uh, deploy a VM. this is just a uh, practice exercise and you can just uh, do it for a uh, proof of concept purpose so now we need to select a series so if we select uh, uh, n2 series and the price will be different but it depends like you know how everyone you see that almost price double but i'll just select e2 for this uh, uh, exercise and the machine type i will keep everything same and let's look at cpu platform and gpu so here we see that cpu platform is automatic and the vcpus to core ratio and visible core count and uh, if we see that display device so if you want to enable display device you can just uh, check this um, option and the next one is uh, confidential vm service so um, it is disabled but if you want to enable it we can uh, just uh, enable this uh, it's up to you so however you want to create your uh, vm instance and if you want to deploy a container you can just uh, choose this option and here we see that the, our boot disk details the name is instance vm01 and type new balance persistent disk and size 10 gb and license type is free and let's go and look at identity and api access and let's just go here and what are the options uh, we have here for service account? No service account, API engine, or service account 01, or uh, compute engine default service account. So I will just use a compute engine default service account. And uh, let's look at the access scope. So allow default access or allow full access to all cloud APIs. So uh, we can also set uh, access for each API. So here we See that all list of options here available here all the, the gcp product BigQuery, and if you want just enable it so you have to make sure when you set access for each api and we must uh enable like you know which service wants to access it so for now i will just uh, select uh, default access and let's look at the firewall so do you want allow all the http or https traffic to access this vm instance so i will just uh, select allow all https traffic and if you also want http traffic to access just enable this now we selected all the options and we entered all the details that we need to deploy a vm instance in google cloud platform and let's um and let's look at the advanced options here what we have the networking so um, and if you have any network tags host name and um, select it and ip forwarding if you want to enable it just click on it and everything looks good here and then uh, let's look at the disk and if you want to add a new disk, uh, you can also attach existing disk by just selecting. Just click on this and then you will see attach the disk. Okay. If you want to attach any existing disk. And let's look at the security and security. Everything looks good. Um, and manage access. Let's click on manage access. Control VM access through IAM permission. So if you want to control uh, all this access through IAM, we can select this and also we can set up a two-step verification. So for now, uh, we can also do that. So for now, I'll just uh, leave it uh, default. And let's go to the management. So management reservations and also deletion protection. If you want to like, you know, protect this VM uh, so that no one can delete it, you can enable deletion protection. So most of that, like, you know, in earlier modules, we learned even on the on the BigQuery or any, like, you know, SQL, uh, sorry, uh, Cloud SQL. If you want to delete any SQL server, Postgres SQL server, we can enable this option so that no one able to delete unless we disable that option. Okay, so here we see that in E2 instances require spot provision, but that's okay. So we'll just uh, keep everything a default and let's look at the sole tenancy. So everything uh, looks good here. So now I will just um, uh, hide this management and then now I will create this VM now. 
So make sure all fields uh, are correct to continue. Let's just go to the, the detail. What we have terminate PMM, migrate uh, VM instance recommended. Okay. So now let's just create this one. So now um, the VM instance is being created. So it takes like a few minutes uh, so that we can see uh, our virtual machines just in a few seconds here. Now our VM is available. It just uh, it took uh, less than a minute to deploy uh, to create this instance in Google Cloud. And um, let's open this instance. Let's see what we have in this virtual machine. So here we see all the details that we need. Um, uh, if we want to look at our uh, VM, right, what, uh, what details we entered and what is the configuration. And uh, by opening this instance, uh, VM01, we can see all the details and we can see the name and the status it is running and the reservations and uh, deletion protection is disabled. But we can always edit if you want. I I'll just show you guys how to edit, like, you know, once you deploy a VM instance. And here you see that networking options and the mission configuration, we choose E2 medium and um, uh, the architecture is x 664 And also we allowed all HTTP traffic, HTTPS traffic. And uh, here we see that network uh, interfaces, that is the default we use to create and no additional disk that we attached and uh, everything looks good here. And here we see that uh, uh, the, the default service account that we use, uh, this is our default service account for this VM. And everything looks good here. So now, if right now this uh, VM uh, status is running, but if we want to stop this VM, and we can just go here and stop it. And if you don't want, like, you know, once you're done with your development and you don't want this VM keep running so that you don't get a, a bill from a Google, so we can uh, delete this option. But again, like, you know, before deleting, you have to make sure that you don't need this VM instance anymore. And let me just stop this. And if you want to, if you want to edit any, uh, any of these VM details, we can just go here, click on edit. And once we click on edit, we should be able to like, you know, uh, edit, uh, uh, change the information that we want. If you don't want an uh, example, you don't want to allow HTTP traffic to access this VM, just uncheck and then save it. So, uh, and we covered uh, all the details that are required to deploy a VM instance in Google Cloud Platform using Google Cloud Console. So let me give you like, you know, quick overview what we discussed in this session. So in the in this session, we talked about uh, what is Compute Engine and what are virtual mission instances and uh, how to deploy the virtual uh, uh, missions instances in Google Cloud Platform using Google Cloud Console. And we entered details and we selected region and we choose the, the mission configuration. And also we looked at the price for different mission configuration. And also we selected the network and um, we also selected which uh, connection should access this VM. And also we learn like you know how to enable like you know each EP API to access this VM instance in Google Cloud. But and also we can select option allow all default access. So if you have any questions on this deploying a VM instances in Google Cloud uh, uh, using Google Cloud Console or uh, using CLI or anything, yeah, please uh, do not hesitate. Please post all your questions in the comment section and I will try to reply as soon as possible. Uh, if you have any other questions about any uh, Google product or BigQuery or data analytics or um, uh, our databases uh, in Google Cloud and please post all your questions. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.